You know those 48 Laws of Power guy did a- He did the 48 Laws of Seduction? <laughs> Which, what an ass. It looks like a v the cover does. Oh, damn. But, who is- who is this- who is this Brazilian ever seduced? Who is this ugly freak ever seduced? You telling me this guy has game? You telling me this guy seduced somebody? Yeah, he's a cat. I fucking do not think so, man. I highly doubt it. What could his what could his book on seduction possibly contain? Good god damn, fucking get get off. Yeah, I find most of my girls at church. It's worked bucks. really well for me. And I got a trad wife from church. I have a trad wife, she wears a sundress and we play in wheat fields and she makes fresh baked uh makes fresh baked food all the time and apple pie. Apple pie and we we only have honey and uh, she's a whore. Guys, I don't want to. I don't want to trash anybody's dreams here, but you're definitely listen. The last time I posted on Twitter, you remember that Twitter post I did? I said I'm an Aryan, 1488, and I got 20 replies, and one of them was my trad wife. <laughs> Do you remember that? That was awesome. That's how I found her. I put on Twitter. I wrote, I am Aryan, 1488. Good. We are going to fight the war. Dot com. Hold on a second. I'm going to tweet it again. Race. 1488, um, I am a man, alpha, looking for a trad, oh, he already responded, I got a trad wife right there, that's her in a sundress, hold on, oh, I think that's actually her picture, I think that's her right there, she is, a, she's amazing, she raised our children together, she makes food every day, she, we grow, she grows raw milk and cheese, and she's, and she, she's woke like me. Like, she gets it. Like, if you're not growing your own cheese and yeah. milk, you're a cuck. If you don't make your own cheese and milk and live off the grid, you're a cuck. I'm in the trenches, culturally, making shit that lasts. But I'm a cuck because I don't live on land. I don't own my own land and live in the middle of nowhere and do nothing and, and get 200 views on BitChute. Yeah. So I'm a cuck. But my trad wife here, she's a f whore. Warning, warning, if the girl knows more about 1488 Aryan than you do, she's a whore. Who taught her that shit? Well, Question? She read, she read a lot of books and learned it on her own. Oh, that explains it. Gee whiz. That explains it. If a girl has any political opinion that's not formed based on what she heard in school, it's from the last dick that was in her. 1488. Aryan. Okay. <laughs> that's, co that's cool. As long as the last guy that made love to her was a 1488 Aryan guy. I'm cool. Just so you know. Yeah. Just so you know, fellas. Yeah. At least she's trad. I had that epiphany. I had one of those trad bitches. Yeah. And someone sent me her some convo she had and she said that she had uh, that uh, um, someone was talking about pissing on her and doing it. and she said as long as we can pr uh, role play that we're married I have a husbando fan <sighs> my brother and I was like this all I did was like this <sighs> man I'm really down in the dumps I need some self-confidence quick chest up shoulders back hard handshake <clears throat> eye contact can I have a job sir and then I got my job, and I got my career, and everything was cool. And then I bought the land. And then I read the seduction art by this Brazilian who has been divorced three times. His woman is a feminist filmmaker. So he shacked up with the first chick that paid attention to him. So that's his art of seduction. The art of seduction is the first feminist filmmaker, Japanese-American feminist filmmaker that pays attention to you as a Brazilian, the first one that comes along and can tolerate your ugly fucking face, uh, shack up with her and make it permanent. And that's how you get, that's 50 Laws of Seduction. Buy my book. Buy my book! Guys, buy my book right away! It's gonna teach you to have power! Ugh! Freak shit. Sam. I've been with this girl for close to a year. She's starting to talk about marriage. She's Orthodox Russian and wants me baptized so we can get married in church. Thoughts? I mean, <clears throat> is she a virgin? Or was she before she met you? Chad's saying do it. Yeah, okay, guys. Okay. I know, I, I, I dude. 
You're telling me you have an opportunity to seal the deal with a trad waifu? You should do it and be, uh, based. So that's not exactly how it goes, my guys. I know. You're telling me we can restore Evropa and, and build the white race together with a Russian? With a, a Putin, uh, based, uh, sweetie? You gotta be, you have to be a little more careful than that, okay? This is, this is, there's various factors. You'll, you would know. If it was the right thing to do, you would know. Make sure it's someone who consistently makes your life easier. You would know, though. You would know. You would know. If it's the right one, you would know. That's all there is to it. Sorry. I... If it was the right one, you would fucking know. And people, you know, when, you, when you're getting pussy, it's like you ha you, you'll hem and haw, and you'll, you'll basically become a lawyer for the other, the other person. You'll be the, the... Oh, but she, she really tries her best. And, uh, what else, did he give any other details there? She's orthodox. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna immediately, like, everybody's gonna be like, get points. If she, if she's orthodox, everybody's gonna go, Oh my gosh, she's orthodox, that's the ultimate, that's the best thing ever! I want that! Just, you gotta be careful, you can't just go with, cause, if, if she's orthodox, does that mean that her, was her family orthodox, or was her last boyfriend orthodox? You know? Whatever, you got, that's, there's a big difference. There's yeah. a big difference. If, the, if a, um, um, and I don't, I don't think I know everything. I think that some, I think that on occasion, some of the things that I say is, are useful, okay? And that I'm fine with that. One thing that one thing that I know and that I am certain about is that this and this is this is just a fact. And if you argue with this you're wrong, fix your brain, okay? The guys who want like a girl that looks that mimics them. It's like I want uh Oh, this girl, this girl's great. She's into guns, and she doesn't trust the government, and she's she's hell bent on uh, on uh, the the damage that the the medicine the vaccines do. Whatever, okay. This like desire to have a girl who is a she's she's into computer games just like me. Like that's that's not the way to go. That's a boyfriend. That's a boy. You have a boyfriend, okay. You have a roommate. You're me and Chris Lynch in Minecraft building bunk beds, okay? What you, what you want is just a girl who is, like, inoffensive and will do what you, you know, she'll think what you think. Or at least not, you know, fight with you over it. No hymen, no diamond. How about them apples? You should be comfortable with her father and talk with him about the marriage. Before proceeding, marrying the wrong girl will ruin your life big, big, big time. That, listen, guys, take, it, take, take this piece of advice again. I know, I know you're getting all pissed off and you're like, oh, Sam doesn't respect Orthodox trad Christian waifus. Be aware of the fact that everything a woman, that you know, women are not evil. Listen, I think women get it much worse, too. I think the guys, a low, a low test beta male guy begging for pussy and sending the, the, what, what these guys are capable of yeah. is like, is un unbelievable girls have it worse i really think that's true i think girls have it worse okay i think that the the girls who have these um these guys who are would uh, would basically be if they had if they had if they had the balls to be they would do it yeah but they're just too scared to they're too scared to, to uh commit to the bit and actually do a okay these these guys are and they're fucking dark these motherfuckers are are dark and they have dark souls and they would, they're just like uh, a person that's of a man's age, but is mentally a child or like emotionally a child. Yeah. It's the, it's like the nastiest thing you could, you could imagine seeing, you know, it's like, um, it's, it's nasty. Okay. So when I talk trash about women, I gotta, I gotta give it to them. They got it. They got, I think they got it worse in it, at least in this area. You, you guys got to know a lot. I'm not saying all women, I'm not saying everything they do, but a lot of women, a lot of the stuff that they do, it might as well be all. I might as well make a blanket statement here, because it's effectively, this is what, this is the, the machine that you're up against. All these hoes, everything that they do is designed to filter out losers and trick winners into thinking that they're the best bet. And if you don't know what hypergamy, what branch, branch swinging is, that's the, that's the core concept to all this branch swinging. Is that if she if she perceives that there's a male that's more alpha than you, or that's that's a that the, that she could get, that there's a man that's like a branch a higher branch to go to, she's gonna go do it, and she's gonna use makeup and clothing and whatever, and the the, the trad thing like wearing a sundress and being racist and all this these types of things. In my experience, most of the most of the time, that's just there to lure a man. That's not because a woman suddenly magically grew a brain and is coming to her own conclusions. It's because she senses that, that that ploy is what will get her the safest fella, okay? 
So you, and that doesn't, that doesn't mean if you meet a girl like that that it's uh, <clears throat> game over. It just means you have to watch your fucking back. You cannot get all excited because you got this one of one. Per she's perfect. She's not perfect. You can't get all excited like that. You have to. Um, actually, finding somebody is difficult, and it takes work, and it takes like talking and not blowing your load and not being a freak and just keeping it chill. Pray, you know, just just being realistic separating out the signals and the makeup and the clothes and the whatever her fake political beliefs are that she's using as a prop separating all that versus whether or not this person is someone that uh has your best interests at heart and is is useful and um is like f good to be around all the all the good shit separating the good the actual good shit from the bad shit okay because if you if and the the message that guy sent was I found this girl who's a Russian Orthodox Christian. What he would have said if he it, it, what he would have said that would, would have made me happier about it was I found this girl who goes all out for me and has my interests at heart and I feel like she always has my back and I can count on her. Okay, that's what you should be saying. If you're yeah. saying I found this girl who's uh, so hot and she has the she has the beliefs that are that are most popular on uh, right wing Twitter right now. Like that's. That's just a uh, that's a bad thing to lead off with. That's a, if you're focusing on that, that's that that means that the other shit is probably lacking. Okay, that's all I'd say about that. What's the last thing that I just didn't answer? Sammy, what age do you think you should have your oh, life yeah, yeah, completely yeah. together? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough one because there's a, there's a lot of people who um, outwardly appear to have success and appear to have their life together and don't. And then there's people who it's just that's not a that's not a metric you want to judge your shit on. Just be be mindful of the passage of time and. Um, I don't know, I don't think setting a benchmark for yourself is is helpful. Like being like, oh, I'm when I'm 33, I need to have two children. I just don't think that that's. I think you need to just do the best with what you have and do it uh, do it day by day. I don't know if I don't know if panicking over uh, wasted time. How old was the guy? 29? Did he say he's 29? No, he said. Um, no, he didn't say his age. You gotta um, just do the best with what you, with what you got, and not necessarily be panicking about deadlines and stuff like that. Uh, as a 20-year-old, is it okay for me to have fun with the blue-haired girls while I'm young? No. As long as I'm smart about it and do it safely, yeah. or is any relationship besides a serious long-term one nah. a waste? It's bad, man. When a man puts it, his it inside a woman's thing, um, <clears throat> you are creating like a, a psychic bond with that person. There's no such thing as like consequence-free, empty, Sex, it's not, it's not a real thing. <clears throat> so just re realize that um, there's no, there is no such thing as consequence-free sex. If you go out and do one of these girls, you are creating like a, like, like it's, it's not gonna, you're not gonna shake it. Like you're gonna look back 10 years later and be like, ugh, okay, uh, ugh. You're not gonna be able to shake it off and like forget about it. Um, and it doesn't like, like if you're trying to, if you're trying to fuck a lot of girls, it probably means that you are, probably means that you have some issue, like some psychological uh, issue. Like I think trying to prove something, I think it's trying to prove something to your dad, like trying to prove your masculinity or your manliness or whatever. Yeah. And that going out and banging a bunch of chicks is not what makes you masculine. That does not, it's like a, it, it correlates, like it has there, a lot of, ma like ma a masculine, like alpha male can get more women than like a, you know, uh, <clears throat> fucked up, pathetic incel, but there's a correlation there, but it doesn't mean that the, the banging is the causation. It's not, it's like a, a symptom. And, um, it, uh, it's just not, it's not a good thing. It's not something you should pursue. You're, you're probably not going to find the, the one when you're 20 years old, unless you're like a Christian, like you find somebody that's, you know, the girl in high, my high school sweetheart, if that's the case, go, go hog wild. But, um, if you're, you know, like any of us, some lost fucking guy with no no connections, no solidity or foundation or whatever. And you're just like all the girls you can find are these like literally pieces of shit, <laughs> like pieces of shit wearing a human costume. Uh, <clears throat> then, you know, do whatever in your 20s, but be open to like real connection. What you want is you want a woman that's going to be a because life gets life gets very difficult. Like for, it's pretty hard. Um, like when you're when you're 18, you got you got this all these security systems around you. Like even if you don't even if you don't have parents that love you, you still have like high school, college, very low expectations. It, you have you you're, you're surrounded by low expectations and like safety. And when you get to be like 30 and 40 years old, that's not the case. And you start, you know, you'll probably start, you'll, you'll at some point you'll start getting 
health problems, life will throw you a curveball. You'll have some kind of issue that you need help with. And what you want is you want a, a partner to support you <clears throat> and like complement your skill set. Like if you do, if you can't do administrative, you can only do some other type of work. You want someone that can do administrative work, who can handle paperwork, who can deal with hospital bills, et cetera, car insurance, that type of thing. Like you want someone who complements your skill set and is not a whore and uh, is like a trustworthy person because uh, <clears throat> fucking, fucking, because it, you lose interest in it. It stops. It stops being like the most amazing thing in the world, um, and it, it it gets trumped by having someone who will make life less hellish uh, by their presence. You know, someone that makes you someone that makes you happy. That's what you that's what you want. And um, I've never I've never once met like a I've never met anybody who had this experience where like a really hot girl also like cooked for them and made them like made their life less miserable. I've never I've never seen that. The one that pops into memory was uh, this kid on Instagram that I was talking to. Um, he had a girl. His girl was like incredibly hot. She was like a human Barbie doll type yeah. thing. And he was just like telling me like how like how much of a miserable like horror and like how fucking like. Like their apartment was like covered in cat shit and dog shit and like pill bottles and stuff. And like, it was just like, like he, he'd be better off living in Afghanistan yeah. than, than dating this like uh, fucking like mental patient person. A lot of, a lot of these people belong in a mental institution too. A lot of these people like, <clears throat> like right now, you know, if you saw something with like sexy tits and like big orangutan lips and like a swollen pussy hanging out, and, but they, but I, what if I, what if I came up to you and I was wearing a doctor's lab coat and a stethoscope? And I said, this person belongs in a mental institution. <laughs> they, they belong locked up in a, in a, um, a padded cell would be the safest place for this person in a, in a straight jacket. Are you sure you want to, um, create a le a legal, legally binding problem for yourself by, uh, sticking your cock in her and sending her a bunch of texts that are going to be seen in court or by the police? Yeah. Because you, you raped her. <laughs> like, come on, man. Just imagine if, and just, yeah, just take five seconds and picture if this person wasn't hot, what would I think of them? Oh, I think it's a fucking homeless person asking me for $5 for crack. Like basically the same thing. Like, the, you know, the homeless lady that, that hits us up for money that in the parking lot. Yeah. What if she was, what if she was smoking fucking hot with huge tits? I'd move in with her. Me too. Uh, I am 31, successful lover boy, addicted to dating, unstable cutie super sweetie girls who ruin my life. I never feel more alive, loving and sexing them all, and I want to spend money on them. Uh, how what a rush. <laughs> How do I become more icy, cold, and gangster and be less addicted to this female attention? What a rush, bro. It's just a, that's a childish, immature thing. You gotta, you gotta outgrow that. It's tough because the, the thing is the quality of women that you come across on these dating apps is like you find such garbage that it makes you think that all women are garbage. Just try to try to meet one that's, um, you know, that makes you flip it around, I guess. If all you can get your hands on is garbage, you might as well take them to the dump. You're, you're for sure not going to find a, um, a girl that's worth wifing up on one of these whore apps. Less Unless you do. Attention. Unless you find one that's just like hasn't been doing it for a year or whatever, but... Just be careful. How does he become less addicted to female attention? Who, that guy? Yeah. Is that the 30? What are you addicted to female attention for? Who gives a f shit? What do, f what do females know about anything? If a female was giving me attention right now, I'd be like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> what, what, am I wearing something gay or am I like talking? Am I like, what am I doing wrong right now to are attract my pants female? Too tight? Are my pants too tight? How, what am I doing <laughs> wrong to attract female attention? What do you need female attention? What's like, what's that gonna do for you? What's, oh, I get so much female attention. What's it gonna do for you, man? It's not gonna do anything. It does nothing for your bottom line. It's not helping. All you need is all you need is the attention of you know the right one. But that's different from uh, you know being a uh, playboy. That stuff is it's not good. It doesn't go anywhere good. You right gotta direction. you gotta you gotta want something more than the than like these empty relationships. Just get rid of the apps. I don't know. How do you even meet a, how do you even meet a girl if you don't have apps though? How the hell do you meet a woman? I have no idea. You're gonna have to join a, 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 a animal shelter volunteer club or something. Wait, Sam, we should do like a right wing alt tech trash ah, Tinder. Damn, that's a good idea. We'll yeah. Call it, we'll call it a. Uh, we'll call it. Neo <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> Perfect. 
And we'll get Richard Spencer to be the first man on there. Yeah. So that'll attract a lot of women. It'll be it'll be have permadeath game mechanics. Yeah, if you cl so, if you <laughs> so the first date that the girl goes on, her account gets deleted. And we kill you. Yeah. If you uh, sign up for it, we kill you. KS here with the fifty. Do you remember the comment that was uh I think may maybe it was last week the guy who said he was moving to Europe um for a girl, but the girl kinda bailed uh, but he's still uh -huh. moving to Europe. Uh -huh. This is him. Mm. I am now in Europe. And that chick I moved here to marry to marry me is messaging me a bit. I live an hour from her. I don't want to time travel like you said, but I was planning mm. on marrying her in a few months. Knock that bitch out. This is oh. mental hell. Just block her right now. Okay? Let me give you a piece of let me give you a little a treasure from ancient China. I've said this before. An ugly wife is a treasure in the home. Chinese proverb, 2000 years old. You think they didn't know what they were talking about 2,000 years ago in China? Okay, translation. An ugly wife is a treasure in the home. What you want is you want a woman who picks you. The woman picks the man. The man does not pick the woman. You're not in control of this ride, all right? She's the gatekeeper. She has the gate. It's her, her old wet down there, okay? That's the gate. She's the gatekeeper. She picks who she's going to let in. And she picks who she's going to pair bond with. And if you're, think if you're thinking about texting her, that's not you. Okay, you would know if it was you because she'd be aggressively trying to pull your pants down and claw at your face. Okay, they get in heat. When they get in heat, it's like a female tigress. But in, in all seriousness, it is 100% the woman's... Uh, once, you've sh once you've shown interest and let it be known, it's entirely, the ball is in their court. And if they're wishy-washy, if they're not, you know, reciprocating, it's not going to work. It will never work. You can't make it work. It doesn't matter if you're Don Juan, if you're fucking, you got monkey dick, okay? They're not going to, it's not going to last. Anything you try to, anything you try to force to make it work, it's not going to last.